Why, hello! I didn't really have much of a thought for a YouTube video today. I'm actually in the process of heading down to Florida to go and visit with my family. So, I decided I'm going to sit here and talk a little bit about what I've thought about this YouTube channel since I've hit the 1,000 subscriber mark that I've always wanted to hit. I think that the YouTube channel itself is doing pretty well okay. Like, it's sitting there in, like, kind of a stagnant area, and, like, there's a lot of you who are new, whether it be from reacting to Skibbity Toilet or from my shorts or if I promoted a video. There's a lot of you that are here and I do appreciate every single one of y'all. I will say this whole thing has not been very easy for me, especially in the beginning whenever I got a thousand subscribers and I'll explain why. I was not prepared to have that kind of attention on me in the very beginning because like I started really questioning myself before I got to the 1000 subscriber mark. It was something that I've always wanted to build up to and then all of a sudden I got really cold feet and I'm like, oh God, it's about to happen. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to handle it. And luckily it happened and I think I got it in my head like, you know, this is this is really cool. People are viewing my stuff. I get paid for doing YouTube videos. I can talk to a larger amount of people because my videos get promoted more. E everything is just, it, it's, it's pretty good. I honestly am happy with getting the channel to where I wanted it to be, getting a YouTube channel to where I've always wanted to be for a very long time. I'm glad that I managed to get there and I think that it's going to be pretty good moving forward with more videos and stuff that I'm gonna post on here. I will say I did get a little bit lazy for a while. I know that I wasn't really posting a lot of videos. I've taken two to three weeks in between an upload already and I hadn't really been posting like a lot of videos onto the channel especially whenever we had a tornado come through and it knocked out the internet and the power for a while. Power was back on in three days but the internet was a struggle so I had to find another way to do internet and so I used a hotspot for a while. But once things started coming back on, I started like really thinking about what I was wanting to do with YouTube videos. And since I couldn't do streams or videos or shorts or anything like that for a while, I decided whenever I wasn't working, I would just go outside and I would vlog and I would do things that, you know, would be interesting. I mean, I didn't want to spend the entire summer inside. I have a full-time job anyway, and I... I don't want to spend the rest of it just being inside on the computer the whole time. Not saying that I haven't been balancing that now, but I'm trying to do a little bit more than what I was doing, especially since I got told, you know, this is an opportunity that I just can't let pass up because not a lot of people can get this opportunity that I have. During the summer, I just wanted to get outside and just do things outside. And since I got a YouTube channel that is, you know, worth posting on, then I decided to vlog it. And... Uh, it seemed like some people liked it, some people didn't. It was kind of mixed reaction. I, I, well, I don't really think mixed reaction. It was more or less just they didn't really perform as well as the other videos, especially because Skibbity Toilet has run this channel for so damn long. And so the vlogs didn't really like go very smoothly, very like they didn't blow up. And, I, and I'm fine with that, to be honest with you. I've already had a comment that had been posted on here saying, don't know how these videos get recommended to these people, but you should focus on doing a full-time job and doing this on the side. I did respond saying, well, yeah, that's what I've been doing, but thanks. That's kind of what I'm still going to continue to do. I want to not pass up this opportunity to have the reach on a YouTube channel. But I'm also not going to just stop everything in my life to get on YouTube. I, I think that's where a lot of people have been getting issues with being YouTubers. These people want to be on YouTube so bad and as soon as they hit a thousand subscribers and it's like, okay, now you can start getting paid. Even though they're not going to get paid for a long time, they're just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with work. I'm done with life. I'm going to sit here at my computer and edit, 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 edit all day long, every day, all day, every day. People jump the gun way too quick whenever they get to this whole thing where it's like, oh, hey, I have a thousand subscribers. Now I can build something that I've wanted to do. I don't have to go out in public. I don't have to do manual labor anymore. I could just be at home. But then if they quit their job, then they run out of bills and then they can't do the thing that they want to do. And then they have to get a regular job and they have to sell the stuff that they were going to use to build that YouTube career. And then they're back at square one. That's not going to be me. Until I have a sustainable income from YouTube, or even after I get a sustainable income from YouTube, then that's whenever I'll think about quitting. But even then, like, it's extra money in my pocket, depending on what I'm doing. If it's going okay, then sure, I'll do both. But if YouTube really pays the bills and I hate the job that I'm doing, well, then 
buy the job that I'm doing, I'll jump on here. But until then, yeah, that's not that big of a deal. I have actually not gotten my first paycheck from YouTube because I don't post a heck of a lot or I hadn't been posting a heck of a lot and I haven't made anything that was eye-catching enough to get that first payment yet. So it's still pending. And so there's no sense in me jumping into just doing YouTube full time if I don't even have a paycheck that I could say, hey, this is worth doing full time. There's no point in that. So yeah, I I'm, I'm not even going to worry about doing YouTube full time right now, but maybe in the future, who knows? I will also say with the amount of YouTube videos that I have not been making, that has also kind of made me think about a lot of stuff. Whenever I get stuck in my thoughts for a while, I really start thinking and contemplating on like life decisions and certain other things that I do and whatnot. And one of those was just realizing how much older I am. I have been wanting to do stuff on YouTube for a very long time. I have been on YouTube since 2006, 2007? Somewhere around there. I don't remember the very first time I've interacted with YouTube, but it was in the very beginning. Whenever I have been posting on YouTube, I've always wanted to have those videos that would pop off real well and do really good. And I never really had that opportunity because it was just a shit posting website. And now it's turned into this conglomerate where everybody is posting everything and people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars on here i'm like oh well that's fantastic like i still want to get that but now i'm much older i don't have that same energy that i had for that whenever i was younger whenever i was younger i was if i would have had the opportunity i probably would have posted two to three times a day <laughs> that's my mentality of how i've always thought about youtube but even now realistically looking at that i'm like i wouldn't have been able to post that much Hell, I could barely even be steady at posting three times a week. Hell, I was barely even posting one time a week. It's unrealistic. I used to post every single day, at least one video a day. And whenever COVID hit, then it jumped back up to two videos a day, but there was nothing really going on and my editing skills were complete garbage. And so I didn't really care like what I was posting. I would just play a game and then I would post it and call it good and be like, all right, there you go. There's the upload for the day and then move on to the next day and do the same thing. So that was my mentality back then. And now that I'm looking at my YouTube channel, I, I like my editing style. I know it's not really the greatest editing style. I know other people would say that it's kind of lackluster. For being a one-man team, I think it's pretty good in my opinion. I, I do like that editing style. I want to continue that whenever I make regular videos, whether they're good videos, gaming videos, vlogging videos, reaction videos, whatever it may be, I still want to be able to do that. I do see potential in one other person that if for some reason I cannot give you the content fix that you need, he would be able to. And that's IQ of one. IQ of one, I actually work with them in real life and they are, they're, they're a pretty down to earth person. Like I, I think, I, I know they got the ADHD brain going on like 24 seven and I understand it cause I have mine too, but they would be a perfect person to, you know, give you that extra content because I see a lot of potential in what he does. He is actually pretty funny. And he's a good person to work with. And I think that, you know, doing this stuff is something that's good for him. And I think that he would bring out a lot of really funny content that people would enjoy. So I would definitely say if you haven't subscribed to him, definitely go subscribe to him. Yes, I am doing a shout out in the middle of this video. But I think that if I cannot give you the content that you want, this person at least will. <laughs> so not not to say I'm gonna stop content, but I do know that sometimes I get bangers and sometimes I don't. And the ones that I don't, it's just like, okay, well, let's go check this guy out because he'll probably have something better. <laughs> now, I just, I appreciate all of y'all for being here. This is the biggest number that I've ever thought I've seen, I would ever see on a YouTube channel of mine. I hope it gets bigger. I'm going to be pushing to try and get it as big as possible. I don't know how my content stuff is going to go. I am also planning on taking a break in January. That's usually the time that, you know, every everything kind of dies out anyway. I don't really know how it is now, but before what I used to hear from YouTubers was January was the time that all the advertisers disappeared and like everybody just kind of threw random garbage videos out on YouTube for a while. But of course, the landscapes changed, so... I, I mean, I don't know, but I was thinking that that would probably be the best time to take a break anyway. It's just a month of cooling down. We're getting away from the holidays, and so it would just be a good time to, you know, maybe have a month off. I, I think after I come back from that, I think I will do my best to maintain this schedule. 
I don't know how much more of YouTube I will be able to do in the future, but I will be doing everything I can to post YouTube videos and make some good stuff because honestly, I know it doesn't seem like it in my videos because I talk very monotone and I always look like I'm angry or serious or something, but this is actually the most fun I've had with editing videos. I'm finally able to get the quality options that I want because YouTube's video codec system was being weird and it doesn't give the uh, quality options and so the videos would look like ass. But now, I figured it out. I figured out how to make videos look good and then they look good again. And now I just really, really, really want to edit and push out some really good videos. And I think this is the time to do it because otherwise, I'm just going to let it waste away from me and that's not cool to let this channel die because I'm an idiot. I just figured I'd give my insight on YouTube. I think that it's much easier to hit the number of 1,000 than what it used to be. I think it was always a struggle for people to hit that 1,000 mark, and not a lot of people can still hit it. But I think that there's so many more niches now that it's a little bit easier. I use Skibbity Toilet, for example. Skibbity Toilet is the reason why that I have as many subscribers that I have. And I'll admit that, but I also know that I've had a lot of videos that have gotten many views, and whether they're promoted or not, they still got views. People still watched them. People still reacted or, you know, in interacted, I should say, with them. And I think the channel has been doing fine. I think everything's fine. I'm working on uh, going down to Florida right now. So uh, this video, whenever this video comes out, hopefully I will already be down there. But I don't know where I'm going to be. Maybe I'll make a community post and we'll see where I'm at on the road. But <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing a long drive. So uh, wish me luck. I'm hopefully not going to run into no typhoons on the way down there. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate all of y'all. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next upload. It will be in a couple days. So, yeah. Bye-bye.